it's either approach position or it's an at position. So now one thing I want to point out here is see we have two at positions. The reason why is I just recorded both these positions at the same position. So the robot is physically at these positions. So I'm going to click position. And so what we need to do is modify the Z. So like, let's say first I want to alter this position to be the, the, the pickup position. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna look at, by the way, I'm using the right clicker and the scroll wheel. So scroll wheel gives you the pan to move back side to side and the right clicker gives you the ability to rotate. So that just helps you kind of like move around a robo guide a little bit. So I'm trying to analyze how far I am from here to where my pickup position is here. So maybe it's like 200 mm or something like that. Now, in the real world, you definitely don't want to overshoot because an overshoot shoot could be a crash condition uh, and, you're, and also you'll manually, you need to manually test it anyway. So let's say for instance, we're at negative like 148. So these are just rough numbers for right now. So let's just say negative 300. So I'm adding to the negative. So we just went negative 150 more roughly. Okay, so negative 150 more will then drop us into, will drop us down lower. So I'll just say done. And so now you can see we're not at the same position anymore. This is, we're at this position, but we're not at this new one because I modified the position. So now that position in space has moved down. Actually, matter of fact, to perfectly call that out, since we're in this program and we're in RoboGuide, this is like an advantage also of RoboGuide. Notice like I'm, I'm navigating RoboGuide, just going back and forth between the, the right clicker and the scroll wheel click to make it, uh, so that way I can like get to exactly where I want to look at. So like whenever you're doing these type of things, like you have to dig in, look deep and study what you're seeing, you know? So like you're gonna have to move this thing around and see exactly. So I can kind of look at this and see that like it's a little bit lower than what it needs to be. And that's basically what I'm analyzing. So this is that second position. It looks a little bit lower than what it should be. It also looks like the, the, the robot is not currently over the appropriate position. And so you can see right here, P1, P2. P1, P2. So it, 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 it so nice advantage of RoboGuide. You don't really get this in the the real robot.